What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel. Today behind me we got our 2005 Chevy Silverado eBay pre-runner trophy truck budget build. We got the grandpa spec moldings. We're going to be removing those, taking all the adhesive off. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. It's pretty simple and cheap. Basically it's going to make the truck look 10 times newer. It's going to make the trim look like side molding trim. Tools you're gonna need are a drill and the decal removal tool. This is actually is off eBay, it's like 10 or 15 bucks. This stuff is super cheap and cost effective. It's gonna take our working time down to almost nothing. Behind the molding itself, there's some adhesive strips and this is just gonna knock it right out. First step is to leave the truck out in the sun, which we did all day. So now that the panels are heated up, we're gonna have an easy time pulling those moldings off. If you do live in a cold area though, it is advised to use a heat gun. So it's super easy. So it's, so it's super easy. So it's super easy. It's already coming off, so we're just gonna... <laughs> cannot believe that works so well. Now we got a bunch of dirt back here. We're just gonna wipe it all down with some soap and water. Don't do this if you guys have decent paint. The paint on this truck is not great. I'm not too worried about it. We are gonna be painting this soon. That yeah, looks okay. We're just gonna do one at a time. Open this up. There we go. This is basically just like a rubber pad. You do have to be careful though because you can burn through the paint. Just work fast. Don't stay in one spot. Oh. All right, nothing left but to do it. Just so you can see. Oh. See? It looks bad. not bad. It's going to take a while, that's for sure. So we'll just put it in time lapse. Oh yeah. Look at that. Feels smooth. I'm gonna give Alina a shot at this now. Wow, that looks really good. Already? Yeah. Yeah, that's just oxidized paint. All right, so Alina finished up the one door and just look at the difference between the two. That doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. It looks super nice. This is what it looks like right now. In the sun, you do have a little bit of oxidization, but again, like I said, not too worried about that, honestly. Since we are gonna be painting the entire truck, it's not gonna be a big deal. If I just go like that, that looks really good. That, not so much. It kind of, it just, it's got that farm truck grandpa vibe to it. I'm not too crazy about. Plus, look how weathered they are. I think they're supposed to be chrome. It's just, it's not good. All sun faded. So, we're going to finish this up real quick and we'll do a before and after. See how bad that is? Satisfying, that's for sure. Listen to the crunch. Okay guys, so about 30 minutes later, we finished the driver's side. It looks way better than before. Uh, I walked over on that side and it just looks terrible. So we're gonna complete this job off camera. But I do wanna mention, taking off this strip here, if you do have oxidized paint, it does make it a little bit more noticeable because you can totally see where the molding used to be after baking in the sun for almost 15 years now. This is what the paint should look like. 
way back then. It's not too big of a deal considering we are painting it, but it bugs me enough to go to my job and ask one of the detailers to buff this out for me. I'm not a professional detailer, so I'll have them finish this up and make it look perfect like the molding was never even there. If you guys are gonna do this job just like we did, I highly recommend the ABN decal remover. You don't have to pay the extra money for the 3M. This works just fine and it's half the price, so definitely recommend this. My thoughts on the truck, it, it looks badass. It looks like it was supposed to from the factory. I'm gonna show you guys a quick comparison of the two side by side. You let me know down in the comments below which one you prefer more. Little side note, very exciting. We ordered our first actual big off-road racing part for the car, or the truck. I'm gonna, I gotta get used to that. It's the Missoula rear bumper. Lizard! No, buddy. Anyways, the Missoula rear bumper. I'll show a picture for you guys right here. How about the interruptions today, huh? Dogs, airplanes, helicopters, people walking by yelling. I can't wait for my own house. To do this in a garage, I would pay money to do it. Not a lot of money, but. But anyway, the Missoula rear bumper, it basically removes all of this and tucks it almost like a roll pan, which is basically a flat piece of metal. We're gonna paint match it, do it all ourselves. We're gonna remove the hitch and later on, we'll get a hitch that will be fabricated to that actual bumper so it doesn't stick out as far. It's gonna look really good and it should be here in about a week. I'm excited for that, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the builds. If you have any questions, you could always shoot us a DM on Instagram and TikTok at 86 goals. You could also see behind the scenes footage, kind of be more in the loop, I should say. But anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.